First and foremost, I have to say I'm a really huge fan. I absolutely love Rubber. And I know uh, that like uh, anytime I go see one of your films, it's going to be something that probably nobody else in Hollywood has ever thought of. <laughs> so that being <laughs> said, uh, where did this particular idea come from? It's, I mean, it's always hard to answer. Uh, it's always hard to say where, how, why. Uh, but for some reason, I had this, this idea uh, of uh, a fly stuck in the trunk. And that was it, you know, like a like few years ago, like maybe like I would say something like six years ago, I, I was still uh, living in, uh, in LA actually, when I had this idea. And then that's it, you know, like I had this in mind and, and that was it and, and it stayed. And uh, because it stayed for a few years, like at some point I was like, ah, oh, maybe, uh, maybe I should do something with this because it, it was actually stuck in my head, like, a, you know, like sometimes you, 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 you go through different ideas and then, and then you, you let go everything, you know, like you forget, um, you know, or you are just, or maybe you decide it's not good enough. But this one, I don't know why. I wanted to see this scene of someone opening a trunk and discovering a fly uh, stuck in it, a giant fly. So then after, after a few years, I decided to uh, to make a movie around this. That's how it started. And uh, I mean, the the fly is abnormal. I think we could both say, but it's not the strangest thing in the movie. Uh, this film is hilarious. Uh, I mean, we have two absolute stooges that are just looking to make a quick buck, and then they stumble upon the fly, and then they get stuck in all these other ridiculous scenarios is the girl who just can't stop yelling uh and i it felt to me very reminiscent of like dumb and dumber so i have to ask was that like some sort of influence on this in any way way shape or form or uh if it wasn't what was yeah i mean of course of course uh it you know it was somewhere in my head of course because i you know i used to of course to love this movie uh, when i was younger but also, it's, it's, I mean, it's hard to explain, but David and Grégoire, the two comedians, they have a show together. Like they've been doing like stupid sketches for 20 years together. And they have this small sketch uh, where they, they basically play two really silly, uh, you know, like uh, really silly dudes uh, trying to build a startup. And, and these two characters were inspired by Wayne's World, but I don't know Wayne's World. Like I never watched, I'm, I'm more a Dub and Dumber guy. But then I saw this sketch of, of them doing this, like playing like with long wigs and they're like acting stupid like this. And I was like, oh, I, I, I love this. Like I was, I was watching this, this, this short sketch for, for, for like four, um, you know, like ages, like, and, and suddenly I was like, oh, this is it. Like these two guys, they should find the fly. And then I made the connection and then I wrote very quickly for them because it, it was, I, want, I don't want to say easy because it's never easy, but suddenly I had the characters already built, uh, pre-built if you want to, you know, but then we transformed, of course, everything and, it, and it's not the same characters they, they had in their show uh it's it's of course different but then it, it came from let's say a bad uh <laughs> sketch inspired by uh, wayne's world that's so cool wayne's world is a, is a totally different one that i could totally see uh, applicable here uh now let's talk about the fly it looked cgi but then there were also uh some close-up shots in which it looked like uh animatronic so uh, was it both it is actually the, the the body and the head they're real it's like it's a puppet it's it was there it was always there on the set um, but then on some shots we needed the legs to move so basically the, the puppet you see is real but then the legs uh, were uh, cgi animated but just the legs, only the legs, like the, 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 the body and the head, it's real, it's filmed, it's on camera. That's so cool. Yeah, it looked, it looked really cool. Uh, that's, that's very interesting. It's just the legs are, are just created. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, none of your films are like any other or even like each other. 
So all of these films, I think the right term to describe them is like surreal or surrealist. Why is that? What? Why is that genre just uh, just always your go-to? I don't know. It's 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 you know like I've always been digging digging the same way. Like uh, since I started, like um, even when I was making short films when I was like uh, I don't know like twenty years old, I was already trying to. I mean, it's not. I'm not trying to be original. I'm not trying to be like special or whatever. It's it's more that, like, let's say, let's put it this way. Like, I I can't make the movie I'm what the movies I'm watching. It's it's just as simple as that. Like, like everybody, I watch movies. I watch good movies. I watch also terrible movies. And sometimes I enjoy even more to watch a terrible movie for some reason. You know, like we don't know why. I love to go to the to the theater, but then there's something in my head who, who basically says that I I can't make those movies. I I'm not able to shoot um, what we call uh, a normal movie. <laughs> so that's just the way I write. Like you know, like even if I even if I try, like if if one day I start writing something and say, okay, let's try to make something you know, uh, mainstream, for example, I'm not able to do it. Like it, it will always go on a, on a weird uh, journey and I don't know why. So in other words, it's like the, the guy says at the beginning of Rubber for no reason, right? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. There's absolutely no reason. Like, like I said, I'm not even trying to, you know, to be, uh, you know, I, I, it's not even to show the world that I'm different. It's because I'm not different. I'm just like you. I have a normal life. Uh, you know, I have kids. I have a wife. I have a dog. I'm just a regular guy. But for some reason, this is what I want to shoot. This is what I'm excited about. And, and tomorrow, if you give me uh, a Steven Spielberg script, I can't shoot it. I don't even know how, how to shoot it. You know, it's, it's not my world. That's so great, man. <laughs> uh, and uh, finally, <laughs> what are you hoping people take away from this film? Uh, honestly, a good laugh. And, um, uh, uh, you know, like this movie was like, I, I wanted to make something um, with only good vibes, actually. Even if the fly might be scary for some kids or whatever. I don't think so. I, I don't think it's scary. It's more like a big dog. Um, but, you know, like when, when I wrote this one, I was like, I was only trying to find good vibes. Uh, and and, and, and that, that's what I want to give to the people uh, right now. Uh, I think the world is uh, suffering enough. Uh, you know, like I'm, I'm not into violence. Uh, this was just another attempt to uh, entertain you. And it was a successful attempt. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Unless there's anything else you want to say about the film or the project as a whole, uh, I have no further questions. I'm, I'm very happy to see this movie uh, going out in the US on a great label uh, like uh, Magnolia. I think it's, you know, like it's, it's always, um, for me, it's always a joy to see my movies uh, traveling. And I know there's a lot of French movies, even like more successful, successful French movies that don't travel like this, like this one. So I'm super happy to see that, you know, like uh, all the movies I make are actually traveling. Like I, I was doing some press uh, yesterday for the UK release of my movie Dear Skin. At the same time, like Dear Skin is like screening in the UK and I'm talking to you for this one in the US. I'm super pleased and, you know, I'm, I'm um, honored. Thank you so much for your time and uh, <laughs> wish you the best of luck with the film. Thank you very much.